The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. So for number 10, we are doing some infinite limits. So we have two equations, P and Q, or two functions, that we're taking the infinite limits of. And we're trying to figure out what these are. So P is the limit, and this part's very important, as x goes to negative infinity. And we have 5 minus 3x to the fourth over 6 minus 3x plus x cubed. So when we're dealing with this, it's important to know that when you're doing an infinite limit the, and you have a rational function like this, only the terms with the highest degree power actually matter. So what we should do is let's simplify this down to negative 3x to the fourth, because that's the highest part of the top. The highest degree part of the bottom is just x cubed. Now when you do this, you don't want to just cancel stuff out. Let's just see what happens when we do a negative infinity. So first of all, we want to notice the, the degree of the top is higher than the bottom. There's only three scenarios for an infinite limit and a rational function. Either the top is higher degree, they're the same, or the bottom is higher degree. In this case, we have the top is higher degree. And you should have memorized that if the top is higher degree, your answer is always going to be infinity or negative infinity. We just need to determine which. Well, let's see what if this just gives us a positive or negative answer, and that's all we're uh, looking for here. We have negative infinity. If you raise that to the fourth power, that's going to be positive. And then we're multiplying times a negative number, so the top is negative. The bottom, x cubed, if we have a really big negative number cubed, it's still going to be negative, so we get negative. Negative over negative tells you that this is going to be positive infinity as our limit. So, um, actually right away, that only gives us one of the possible answer choices as a correct one. But let's evaluate q as well. So Q is the limit as X approaches in positive infinity. And we have 1 minus X cubed over X squared minus 1 times 3X plus 1. So again, we have a rational function. All we're concerned about is the degrees. Now the bottom is factored. So what you need to do is just think, if I expanded this, what would the biggest degree term be? You can see here, the biggest degree term you would get is just by multiplying the first two together, x squared times 3x. Everything else would be of smaller powers of x. So really, what we're going to simplify this to is we're really looking at negative x cubed. On the bottom, we would have 3x cubed. So now we have the situation where the degrees are equal. If the degrees are equal, you can just cancel them out when looking like this. We're saying, what are the coefficients? We have negative 1 over 3, negative 1 third. You can see that matches our answer choice B, even though we already knew it was that one from the first one. So the last scenario I just want to go over real quick that didn't come up in this. If the bottom has a higher degree than the top, it's automatically just going to be 0. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu